Welcome back to Let's Play The Tick. Last time, um, we were dealing with ninjas, and this time, we're still dealing with ninjas. Chapter 3, Those Ninjas, They're Wacky. No, I didn't notice. Yeah, I can understand that, you know, there goes Sewer Urchin. The local version of Aquaman. I guess he would be the low jack version of Aquaman. Excuse me, sir. But that's not nice. And that sword is far too big and far too dangerous for you to wield. Oh yeah, it's dangerous out there. Here, use this. I found it funny because it was just it named the city. said my the city what that does not make sense chair face Chippendale <laughs> I mean what's funny about this game is that all the heroes that are in this game do more harm than good for you like you saw a leaping bullet I think that's his name, Aping Bullet. <laughs> it makes no sense. Of course, in this game, logic is thrown completely out the window. Next on my revenge list, I got a few games that... It, I will most likely be doing for the fourth. Two in particular. Very well known. One very well known. One not so well known, but more like it's hated. See you again. Yeah, because a real samurai fights with a piece of bread. Samurai fights with a piece of bread. We shall call you the Sandwich Samurai, sir. I might as well say it. If I haven't said it, I probably will say it. Ah, oh, yes, Thrakosog. J 
just that name just made no damn sense whatsoever. You know what I say to that? I say, sir, back off. I mean, they just keep coming. Look at them. I tried two games, bro, but it didn't work for me. I think the reasons were, you know, obvious. tried and it just didn't work out for me because yeah far too many elements in one game and it was of this variety so I tried it for like a while and then all of a sudden My temper, my, well, not my temper, my patience with the game just wore, just wore out. So I said, no, I'm not going to play this game no more. And people are getting killed by a man, a manhole. Thanks for helping, Sue Urchin. Jeez! Can I say it now? Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. You're doing me a favor. You know what I say to that? If I can actually... God damn! There must be a freaking army of ninjas! Shit! Jeez, there are more of you? Boom! God damn. Oh, how cute. They left me a big blue heart.
And I still say spoon to you guys. Really, guys? Why did I do that? And note I only had to call Arthur once. That was by mistake. Well, it's not a mistake if things get too hairy. Spoon! I think I keep missing... I keep missing my cue when he says spoon. And yes, most of these pieces you you hear in in the game just played in the cartoon as well. <sighs> oh, doctor. I think I got a fever. And the only prescription is a little more cowbell. And just to show my hatred of... Yeah, just to show my hatred of wheel wheelchairs... I throw one away. Just say no to the wheelchairs. That's right, just say no to the wheelchairs, sirs. done here? Can I say spoon? I prefer saying fork or knife or cup or noodles or ramen. But I guess spoon is okay. No, sir, you will not need that. You'll not need that either. Just becoming asses. You will be coming asses, sir, and your ass shall be handed to at the appointed time. Because your toes will be handed in the appointed time of said ass ripping. And if you don't like that, sir, my dad, I'm sorry. But your ass must be cross, sir. In the name of Spoon! In the name of cooking utensils everywhere! By the power of Spoon! And forks and cup of noodles.
Yes, by the power of Marshan. By the power of Yoshinoya. I fight in the name of Chef Boyardee. I fight in the name of Chef Boyardee! of kitchen utensils everywhere. Hmm. Ah, Sagan the Wolf. You must be in charge of all this idiocy. meet the fist of justice. Not just the fist of justice, the fist of great justice! Hey guys, it's Chosen! Yeah, now let's see how you fight, coward. You dishonor my clan, and you dishonor my ramen, for that you will die. Well, sir. Unlike many ninjas I've faced before, you're probably the only one who deemed me worthy of fighting you. SPOON! <laughs> hey guys! Let's go to Ninja World! <sighs> Are we done with the ninja case? I mean, look at this guy, he's like, hey! I'm having a great time, look, we're at Ninja World, woohoo! Hey guys, Wonder Joints! Oh, sorry. <laughs> ninja World for all your ninja needs. Off the i5. Because you know why? All ninjas get along. Except that jackass from Naruto. And that fucking emo of a prick named Sasuke. And. That. Dumbass bitch Sakura, too. You know what? I never did like Naruto. He didn't deem himself ninja esque. Now, the ninja esque I know is Joe Musashi. Or Strider Hidu. Or even Hayabasa Yu. But, I mean. Naruto is no ninja. He's a nanja. And I do mean he's a nanja. He's a non ninja, ninja, ninja. He's not a nin ninja, ninja, ninja. He's not even close to a cocker ranger. Because, come on now, they throw down. I mean, he's not even close to Jiraiya. I mean, goddamn. Yeah, I mean, no, no self-respecting ninja in their right mind would say, Believe it! 
every goddamn time after every goddamn episode for just saying, believe it. Oh, you actually killed one. Well done, Leaping Bullet. Well done. I think it is here we're actually going to face the actual boss of all the ninjas. Sagan and Wolf was, um, just <laughs> another ace in the hole who just became a jackass. I know, right? This is just only one part of a whole goddamn game. Hey guys, we got ourselves a ninja problem. I think after that is the idea, man. Or as I will bluntly call them, Dalek heads. They look like they're about to say, EXTERMINATE! EXTERMINATE! All, all over. The Academy of Ninja World Sciences. Well, I didn't know teleportation was an art. Well, I'll be damned. I think, uh, the Black Manta was a graduate here. Yeah, black man, it was a, was a graduate here, I remember. He graduated with honors, I remember. Real ninjas do not use axes, okay? They use shurikens and swords, okay? Let that be a lesson to anybody who is ever wanting to be a ninja. You shuriken, swords, a kunai with chain. And maybe you too can be ninja-esque, like the pros. However, do not even think you're ninja-esque unless you are a super ninja boy. Or the Little Ninja Brothers. Either way, they kick a lot of ass. And on that note, people are going to be talking. About how bad Wasabi is in Ninja World. Because not only does it look like green shit, it tastes like green shit. If I ever freaked anybody out, I apologize. But probably not. Bobby Buddha's big time Buddha Palace. Really? Is that how it's gonna be? Just, just that. Uh, okay, um... You know what I gotta say? I'm calling it out right now. Ramen, okay? That is all. Ramen with a hint of Naruto. Don't you be hitting my my sandwich samurai what is wrong with you man you don't hit Sagata Sinchiro like that man you just don't do that man
So the tick is really the Eastman. Who came out east to battle the amazing Rondo. Oh, really? I should say that much better. Chick, he came out east to battle with the amazing Rondo! And if you didn't catch that reference, well, damn, you need to watch more TV. Or you need to get more DV DVDs. Get more box sets. See if I actually give a damn. But the Ninja Masters will not be pleased to know that one guy is beating up a whole army of ninjas in two videos. In the first of many problems that lie ahead in this one game. How many more ninjas are there now? I find this insanely stupid, but yet so, so very satisfying. Just to fight that many ninjas in that damn short of a time and the level isn't even complete yet and just, well, you know. It's not making sense. Nothing in this game is actually making sense. I'm not even making sense. And yet people subscribe to me. Spoon! And now we... <sighs> Seriously? We've dealt with this in Ninja Turtles. Do we have to deal with it in... Oh, wait. It's random. I forgot. Give me a second here. There. Now I'm in the mood. I'm in the proper mood set because I have the lights off. And I was sweating like a bull. And I don't know why I was sweating like a bull. Oh, wait, because I had that light on. And people will be coming to me saying, what the hell was I smoking when I was playing this game? Absolutely nothing. That's right, absolutely nothing. No axes. No nunchucks. And you're probably wondering, who is in charge of this? I had a man see the man in charge letting loose all these ninja run amok in the city like this. Ah, that works. I'd still like to know... WHO'S THE CHICK WHO CALLS HIMSELF THE CHICK?! This 
and your name is Barry, 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 You can tell I've watched, I've watched that episode. If you don't know what that episode is, it's called The Tick vs. The Tick. When the Tick and the guys actually go down to this club, Where all the where all the super hang, superheroes hang out, only that the sidekicks cannot go in where the superheroes go. They they have a separate club they go to where all the sidekicks go to. And I love how the tick just actually handle them. He's like. Okay. So you can't beat a tick? I, I can beat a tick. <laughs> I said, this brown tick looked more like a tapeworm than a tick. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm doing a lot of kicking instead of punching, right? I'll so saddle. But you must understand that you have an issue with punching and kicking and something is wrong with you. If you don't like punching and kicking. Besides, his kicks are quite strong. So yeah, I'm shortening my list minus two games. Because honestly, you can only go so far with a video game and then when it gets out of control, you just gotta say no, you're not gonna do it. It's like, a, it's like, um, I was replying to one of, um, one of the many, um, LPers. I believe you've heard of him. Goes by the name of Ilana Ray. He recently did a Duke Nukem LP. Th yeah, the new one which came out. Duke Nukem Forever. Guy went 10 hours straight, 10 hours straight, doing the entire game. Now, tell me that's not devotion to your cause as an LP -er. I mean, I only put in like maybe two or three hours in maybe one game or, you know, depending on how long the game is, you know, it might take 30 minutes. It might take me 20 minutes, it might take me 40 minutes, you know, and you never know. I mean, the longest I've ever done a, a, a game was, um, Rampage, and that was with, and that was with Sheena. And that was random co-op, too. But other than that, that was, like, the longest game I've actually ever done. As, 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 you know, as a co-op. The longest I've ever done in... The longest I've ever done a, as a as a let's play was Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin on Sega CD, and that three hours and that three uh, three and a half hours that's saying something. But you know, boom! That goes without saying. And here comes the main boss. Yeah, who I'm fighting now is the district manager. Seriously. That's the guy's name, district manager. Hi, 
actually like this pace up. But really, you know, for someone who is across the seas and actually does a German version with English with English in you know, English language English language German text that that goes about saying, yeah, you went for forty two parts in 10 hours. Boom! Oh, look, it's the human Daleks. <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, it, it just goes without saying. When, when you go that far, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you will be drained. And, you know, like I said, I will be doing the same thing. It's like, sometimes you gotta take a break from LPs, and you know whether you're gonna take a two week, a, a two month hiatus to a whole year or something like that. I, I've never seen an LP actually go go as far as that. I mean, I know a few people like Upstart DJ and Rain of Hearts because since they do a lot of since they're students, they have a whole lot of schoolwork, so that is completely understandable. Me, I'm a writer, so, you know, ideas come to me if ever, if ever I got a good idea, I'd start writing. But since I don't, you know, this is what I do until something happens. So I am, I am an author as well as an LPer. But in the sense of what I was saying before, guys, remember, just back off. I mean, if some person did Duke Nukem forever, you know, y'all be creaming yourselves for no apparent reason. Because some of you are dickheads. But I digress. And moving on. In the next part, we will be facing the Idea Men, a.k.a. the Human Daleks. Because they would be exterminate, exterminate, all, the, all over the place. <laughs> so stay tuned. Chapter 5 as Let's Play the Tick continues.